Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Lelouch, board certified OBGYN physician with over 30 years of clinical experience. And today we're going to talk about fibroids and trying to shrink them to improve a surgical outcome. So um, you can see my other video to discuss general terms for uh, uh, fibroids. But if you have really large fibroids, then in order to make the surgery easier, we might recommend a medication that blocks your hormones uh, and temporarily shrinks your fibroids, making the surgery easier. So that brand na name medicine is called Lupron. It's Luprolide Acetate. They're injections. You get, you get them usually for three months, one injection a month or maybe one for three months and that can reduce the size of the fibroids, reduce your bleeding. It's temporary though, and it puts you in what's called medical menopause. So temporarily shuts off your hormones so you can have hot flashes, mood swings, poor sleep, but it can shrink them down. Sometimes we can give you a little bit of progesterone back to alleviate some of those symptoms. But by shrinking them down, if they're really large, that might allow us to change an open hysterectomy with a vertical scar to a robotic hysterectomy or laparoscopic hysterectomy with three little scars and a much faster recovery. Or it might convert a vertical incision to what's called a fan and steel incision, a bikini cut. Um, but it might reduce your blood loss. It can help if you're bleeding really heavy because of your fibroids, you might be anemic. It might give us a break of, on the bleeding to build up your blood level. So that would be the reason to use this injection and your physician might uh, uh, recommend that for you. There are some new medications out that have uh, similar ingredients to do a little bit of hormone blocking uh, and give you a little hormone back to um, uh, help prevent uh, the need for surgeries and reduce bl uh, blood loss and that's the brand names are Myfimbria, Myfimbri or Orion and they're Similar concepts, different purpose, not the purpose of this video. So we don't use them to shrink the fibroids before surgery, generally, or not yet at least. Uh, but if you are, the best place that I've seen for those medicines is if you're near menopause and you have fibroids that are causing you to bleed, bleed and cramp a little bit, they might be able to reduce your symptoms enough to get you over the hump so that you don't need surgery in the first place. Um, so bottom line is, <clears throat> If you have very large fibroids, then you might get some hormone blocking medicines recommended to you to shrink them down to make the surgery a little bit easier um, and reduce your uh, risk of issues uh, with the surgery and give you a faster recovery. So I hope you found this information useful. Please leave your comments. Thank you.